So, Prime Minister, in terms of your road to economic recovery, an important part of that is tourism, which requires <laughs> being open to people from other countries who may not be observing the same strict uh, standards that Icelandic citizens are. Uh, I'm curious how you're going to handle that opening to the tourists and tourist dollars you need while avoiding getting uh, contaminated uh, by travelers uh, who, who you're not able to check as thoroughly as your own citizens? Well, obviously the tourism sector is huge in Iceland and it's very important for our economy. So these are very tough times and we are seeing unemployment rates going up uh, now. Uh, and unemployment usually is very low in Iceland, so this is a, a this is a, a novel situation for us. Um, so of course, hopefully, we will be able to to receive more guests here uh, as soon as we have uh, more certainty and really uh, and how the pandemic is going to develop. But we have obviously introduced strict rules when it comes to our borders, where people are offered a test on the borders, asked to stay in quarantine for five days and then have another test. And, and we have seen, and we have actually been in the testing on borders. We are seeing, uh, uh, we are actually analyzing and, and getting a lot of uh, people who are carrying the virus. So this is also very important uh, data to build uh, our decision on. But the blow for the economy is big. And you see that in the unemployment rates. rates. Uh, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be, and it has been a tough year. But I also think that uh, we are have a very solid we have solid foundations in the economy, and I think we are going to recover quickly when time is right. Professor, before we leave the question of the pandemic, I want to ask you about testing and tracing specifically, which you said was a crucial part of your strategy. Do you mm -hmm. think that the kind of success you've had with testing and contact tracing would be possible for a country that didn't have a national healthcare system like Iceland's? In America, as you know, it's more decentralized. Uh, what's ended up happening here is it's kind of every state on its own. Is it possible to run a coherent testing and tracing system in that kind of decentralized environment, do you think? It's difficult for me to judge, uh, but what I can say about Iceland, it, I think it's proven vital that we have a very strong public health system, that we have the equal access for everybody to that same health system, that we are able to have uh, tests who are... Oh my God, there's an earthquake. <gasps> there, sorry, there was an earthquake right now. Wow. Well, this is Iceland. You, <laughs> sorry about Prime that. Minister. I will just right. finish the question. Yes, I'm perfectly fine. The house is still strong, so no worries. Oof, but, but sorry. <laughs> but um, national health public system, it's essential, but we've also had a very good collaboration with the private sector uh, in dealing with this pandemic. So this excessive testing has been done in close collaboration. Uh, it's been accessible to everybody and, and people have been uh, quite, you know, people are very much aware here in Iceland that if you have some symptoms, you need to get tested. Uh, and if you have met someone who was actually sick, you have to go and get tested. Prime Minister, we don't have too many earthquakes on live television, so I'm just going to ask you to explain for our viewer, viewers what, what just happened. You were wonderfully unflappable, but to tell us what was going on with the noise and sudden uh, uh, shaking. What were you experiencing there? Well, obviously there has been an earthquake, and obviously I would guess that it was pretty close to Reykjavik. Uh, I'm sitting in my office and it was quite, you know, often you get earthquakes in Iceland and you don't even feel them, but this was big. So I'm just waiting for the news to come. So, well, but we have experienced this, you know, uh, and we are all taught uh, when you're children that if there is an earthquake, you go under the table, <laughs> but it seems to have been just one earthquake, but it was quite big. Thank you. Thank you for not going under the table, but you have 
our permission if there's another yes. quake to, thank you to, uh, to protect yourself so 